today I thought we would tackle chocolate cake from Matilda. Um, a bunch of my other programs I've just done like the cake or the beginning steps. So I thought today we would do the frosting and make putting the cake together. I forgot to get Matilda from the library, but you can because there are lots of copies there. Um, I didn't really enjoy Roll, Roll Doll as a child and I not sure if that's because I genuinely didn't enjoy it or because it was a book and I didn't like reading as a kid. Um, so my most memorable experiences with Matilda um, come from the film adaptation and yeah that chocolate cake scene. If you're not a messy eater and you don't like your hands and yeah it, it's, it's an incredible scene. Anyways chocolate cake is uh, a very big part of, I don't know, it's something that sticks out in people's minds about Matilda, so I thought I would give it my own spin. So I made uh, two layers of chocolate cake and they are super cool and ready to be frosted. So I am going to make a um, chocolate filling and frosting for my two layers and then put it together and we'll see where we go from there. So I have some butter and I am going to put some brown sugar in it and then I'm just going to beat that. So there's going to be a lot of loud noises this week because I have a hand mixer and it's really ancient so bear with. just melted um, a bunch of dark chocolate and I am going to add it in here Okay, that was a lot messier than I was expecting, so let's keep going with our lives here. We're gonna add that in. my recipe book open because I've never made this particular frosting before so that's what's happening here. I am going to put some cocoa powder and some malted milk mix in a tiny bowl. teaspoons of cocoa. Apparently adding malted milk powder to things really, or chocolate baked goods really, um, like enhances the flavor and just makes it more wonderful. So I'm trying that this time to see where that takes us. Hopefully good places. We just add it in. Yep. All right. 
Hopefully this gives our frosting an even more chocolatey. And then we have our powdered sugar or icing sugar. ingredient for our frosting is just a little bit of salt. Alright, and that is step one for getting our cake made. Okay, time to assemble our cake. I actually, in preparation for this, rewatched the cake scene from the film version of Matilda and was mildly horrified as an adult because I remember absolutely enjoying it and watching child a child be um, covered in chocolate cake in like a forced eating. Like, I don't know. Not for me. But then again, food eating competitions are not, not my cup of tea, so. I put the bottom up for this cake and I have a palette knife and the frosting is really runny right now partly because it's really hot today and partly because it needs to once it's on set so I like to think of frosting kind of like um, plastering a wall if you've done that and haven't frosted anything it works with the same kind of um, pressure and smoothing techniques and I'm aiming to use about half of this frosting here in the middle Getting all the way to the edges. That way it kind of like blobs over when I squish it. Next layer down. Alright, we'll call that good. On to our last layer here. I'm a big fan of uh, the naked cake look, mostly because I'm lazy and um, and a perfectionist. It's not a good combination when frosting a cake. So this one is just having frosting on the top and in the middle. Probably should have gotten a spatula for this part, but it's okay. steal that spatula from earlier that I didn't clean yet. I hope 
other people um, enjoy Matilda and maybe even eating contests. Um, yeah, to each their own. But I am curious if there anybody else has any um, books or scenes from movies that they really enjoyed as a child and went back to as an adult and have discovered it's just not for them. If so, let me know. We, we can have a chat. All right. So we have decorated our cake. It looks beautiful. And it really, really needs to chill before we can put some chocolate shavings on it. Again, because the frosting is super running. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Food From Fiction. And I'll see you next week.